Great Indian Trail is all about slow travel. Unlike Google Maps, which will connect you from place A to place B through highways or the fastest possible way to get there, the Great Indian Trail is designed to be slower, more immersive and an enjoyable experience. What we've done is basically created resources in terms of routes that will take you through smaller rural roads, maybe trails connecting various destinations. And the whole idea is to also contribute to the local economy by staying in people's homes, homestays, or camping in people's backyards, eating in local places, or doing things like that so that your money is spent where the source of these local economy is. It's possibly the most immersive way that you could experience India, this whole subcontinent, and it's stunningly beautiful. I'm here in the Western Ghats at a homestay near a place called Bisley. Rode down from Chennai. This has been my first long ride on the new motorcycle, my first long ride after lockdown. I can't even begin to tell you just how good it felt to be moving again. I'll be joining a few friends from Bangalore. They are the people who created and curated the Great Indian Trail. And over the next few days, we're going to be based out of two places, this one and another one near Kudremuk and they're going to show me some of the routes in and around these places on the Great Indian Trail. The idea is to go out, explore, experience Karnataka, experience the Great Indian Trail and basically have a good time with the motorcycles and the people who are here. And I think this is a great way to kickstart things, even if in just a small way. So I'm looking forward to what lies ahead. We have the modified Impulse, the KTM Adventure 390, the BMW F650 GS, the X-Pulse and the G310 GS now. Sean, Abhi, Santosh and Santosh. What about me? What about me? The plan for each day was simply that we would identify a few routes that seemed promising and ride out to explore them together. The focus was on finding interesting roads to ride, but a welcome benefit were the stunning views that we often came across. Navigation took a little bit more effort than I'm usually accustomed to, but boy was it worth it. right underneath a windmill. Man, that thing is massive. So everyone travels for a different reason and um, my main reason would be to just find and explore beautiful places uh, around uh, any region and every time I visit a beautiful place um, it's always on my mind that I hope that it stays this way. So everyone taking the Great Indian Trail, um, I wish, I mean I hope that uh, everyone respects the place, the way it is, the people around them and uh, be really conscious about not littering uh, anywhere at these serene places. We had hoped that the southwesterly monsoon would have passed by the time we did this trip late in October. But Mother Nature had other plans. 
It made life a little bit difficult, but instead of letting it dampen our spirits, we used it as an excuse to take a few adventurous detours and have some fun with our motorcycles. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Rocky, slippery. On seashells, somewhere at the back of my mind, there is this question, which is, why on earth are we doing this? <laughs> And I think the laughter gives it all away because it's fun guys, because it's fun. There are some huge rocks there. Are you take the next slide? Tractor. Now the ATV. Nice. Saddle it all the way through. You can't even walk over here. The Great Indian Trail, as of now, is just the beginning. Uh, it's a blueprint for everyone to start using and exploring their sections. We want the community to start riding more and building the routes themselves and then sharing it so that more and more people start using the Great Indian Trail. Start it off, I say. The skies have finally cleared up. So we got a glimpse of the phenomenal view of the valley and the hills that you get from here just before we leave. It's been one week of travel through Karnataka. I've traveled through Karnataka before, but we've actually barely covered any distance, but we've seen so much. That's, that's what's really different over here. This experience has been unlike anything I've ever done before. And I think this is a whole new way of travel, even for someone like me. That's what sets the Great Indian Trail apart. And I'm just so happy that I was able to do this. Now Rohit is just taking video of the cow. 